Hello, Kathy Brennan here. Today we're going to talk about what happens when people won't listen to you. I know this has happened to me a lot. I've struggled with it and I just wrote a blog about it and uh, that will be in the link below. I wanted to talk about it though. There's so much mm -hmm. to this. So let's get into it. So often people just don't listen to us. Uh, it might be a work situation. You could be either a boss and people aren't listening to you, or you could be talking to your boss and your boss isn't listening to you. And you think, well, what do I do now? And then, yeah, they're not listening to what I just said to them. It happens uh, with friends. Uh, this is what my blog was about. Sometimes you're in friendships and the friends just aren't listening to you and you think, well, wait, why aren't they listening to me? And so what do I do about it? Uh, it absolutely happens in families. Uh, we all have siblings who have not taken us seriously or not listened to us. It could be uh, your brother or sister or older or even younger. Uh, it could be your parents aren't listening to you. You've told them what you want. You told them what you need and they won't listen. Uh, it can happen with your aunts and uncles or anybody. Or how about if you're the parent and your kids aren't listening to you? You've told them what you need them to do and they won't listen to you. So what do we do with that? There's an answer. Here's the first thing. If we blame them and get mad at them for not listening to us, we absolutely are just stuck. That's where we are. I'm mad at my sister because she won't listen to me. I'm mad at my mom because she won't listen to me. I'm mad at my boss because she won't listen to me. I'm mad at my employees because they won't listen to me. We get totally stuck if when that happens, we just stop it and get mad or get frustrated or give up on it. We have the freedom in that scenario where someone isn't listening to us we have the freedom to decide what to do next. If we can let that go, if we can stop and say, okay, they're not listening to me, now I'm going to figure out what my next step. If we wait for them to take the next step, then we're still stuck, just waiting. But we, we can figure out what's our next step. What, what can I do? Another thing about not... Uh, spinning on the negative thoughts is we get more creative. This, this also was in my blog. We see things that we can't see, possibilities. We can't see those if we're spun up in the negative emotion. But if we think, oh, I'm, I'm going to let that and put that over here, figure out what I'm going to do. We can get real creative and come up with good solutions. It's important to know that those emotions or the frustration that comes, that is your responsibility to take care of. It's my responsibility to take care of. If I say, oh, my, my employee won't listen to me, and then I start thinking bad things about them, um, I I'm bl kind of blame my emotion on them instead of think, okay, now I'm frustrated. What am I frustrated about? What is that? Is it that I feel I'm not being respected? Okay, well, deal with that. You, you can't make someone respect you. It's this good sign. It's just something that's happened that helps you realize, wow, they don't respect me. And like, maybe I don't respect me. There, there's all kinds of different ways you can go with that. But as long as we like have our emotions land on someone else as if they're the ones that are the problem. We just wait for them to fix it before our lives can be okay. So when we're, when we, we have to just take these emotions and realize they're ours. We get the good ones and we also need to own the bad ones. So yeah, if someone isn't listening to you, what is that telling you? Maybe your delivery was bad. Could be that you didn't show enough confidence or you didn't 
you weren't that sure yourself about the idea and you're looking for people to agree with you. So it could tell you just that your delivery was bad. Maybe they're not listening to you because you're not persistent enough. Let's say in the employee situation, let's say I asked my employee to do something and they don't do it. Well, did I check up with them and say, why isn't it done? It needs to be done. Or did I not give them a deadline? Um, it, we need to be real clear with people. And sometimes we just need to pre be persistent. So on a personal level, I often need to hear an idea several times before I think it's a good one. So I married the right guy. Mike is real persistent and he will bring up ideas over and over again. And he has learned that that works with me. Sometimes it's clear that I'm not, you know, I just need to hear it again and pretty soon I'll say yes. So maybe you and your delivery, you aren't persistent enough. And then sometimes we just need to let it go. Like our idea was not accepted by other people. We just need to let it go for now. It might come back again. We might circle it around to it again. Someone else may bring it up and they think it's their idea. Well, who cares? Because it's the idea is out there then. So sometimes we just need to drop it. We, we weren't listened to and we just need to drop it. We need to let people ignore us. Because you know what? We ignore a lot of people. And I know you might be saying, oh gosh, Kathy, I don't ignore anyone. Here's who you ignore. You ignore that guy in the mall at the kiosk who wants to put lotion on your hands. Look, you don't, you don't have time. You don't want to buy it. Yeah. So you ignore that guy. I ignore that guy. You might ignore that person standing on the street corner handing, you know, like shoving a flyer in your hand. You might ignore him. I ignore him. That's somebody I ignore. Even if I take it, I'm really ignoring him because I throw it in the next trash can. Or you ignore the guy with the sign that says, I need money for weed. Like, I ignore that guy. Maybe you ignore that guy. Maybe you give him money. I don't know. But there are people we ignore because we don't, we're just not going to engage with them. So learn to think about when I feel like I'm not being heard, what's exactly happening here? What is it saying about me? How am I handling the emotion around it? Am I giving up too soon or do I need to speak up or do I need to let it go? Because it happens to all of us. So you're in good company. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon.